Welcome back Indie Game Fanatics to another Let's Play video. We will be continuing with the Artful Escape. Get into it. That's right, we just got back to the Cosmic Lung for the second time. That trip is a real freak out. Where did everybody go? Blast! Lightning's playing! Hmm. Whoa! Lightman must be playing the headline show! He's a wizard! Let's see, where's my show been playing? The best! The cosmic explosion! I'll show you the that's for sure! Oh, this song makes me feel like... Dance complete. Cool. Why wouldn't you do it? Right, the whole project my image thing. It, no one really warned me about that. She was going to broadcast you across the universe. She was going to broadcast my lasers across the universe. Why the hell wouldn't you do it? Because I just know... If everyone saw me dressed up playing nonsense... <laughs> playing nonsense? Everyone? You mean Calypso? That's everyone I know. <laughs> Why do you care? What could they possibly think of you? They'll know I'm a sham. That I'm not what I'm supposed to be. That when I said I was a folk musician, I was lying to them. They'll know it. You're not Johnson Vendetti. Lying You're yourself. a kid. You're not meant to have it all figured out. It was already figured out for me. And I still couldn't make it stick, you see? Even when the path is so clear, I am just continuously wandering off. You could have toured the galaxy. You would have never seen Calypso again. Why wouldn't you do it? <sighs> Some stuff at home to deal with, clearly. Can't go in there. Let's head down to Lightman's room. Lightning oh. is returning to the travel gate. He'd like a word. Uh oh. Where to? Not bad, not bad. You were late on the pyro in the third act. You were early. You know it. it must have been a lag in the backing tracks. No one's to blame. How'd the kid do? 
Trom's offered to project his image across the known universe. Aha! Incredible! What, really? Yup. He turned it down. He did what? Oh, well, of course he did! He's an artist, barely in his formative years. The prodigy, a master's apprentice. <laughs> you know the chance that kid just blew? For us? For me, Mark? My name is... Your name's gonna be nothing if you keep missing your cues. Don't think I haven't noticed. Getting old. When you're ready for the next show, meet me at the travel gate. Next show? Oh, that's right, we gotta do like four of them. Youngblood, what are you doing? What do you mean? If you don't want any attention, why are you playing guitar? Why are you dancing around? Why are you putting on a show, huh? I can't not. I just... Tokyo. Now that's the correct answer. What are you afraid of? Tokyo. It's hard to explain. Afraid they'll laugh at you? No. Well, yes, but that's not the biggest part of it. Back home, I mean something there. Some folks have all their hopes caught up in me. Like, I'm gonna bring back something that's lost. Well, baby, sounds like the world's on your shoulders. I thought I'd grow into this folk mastermind. I'm starting to realize that might not be who I am, and it scares me. Young blood, you're never gonna give them what they want. You're probably right. Problem is, you think you've only got two options. Either giving everybody what they want, or failing. You haven't even considered there's a third option, have you? What's that? Are you an artist? Yes. An artist's job it's not right. to give people what they want, Francis. That on my desk. One. It's to give people something they could never have imagined. Can I ask you a question? Did you ask me to come out here because of my uncle? Your uncle? Who's your uncle? No one. No one at all. Well, here we go. Hearing that Lightman had no clue who his uncle was, probably is helping him. For now, we got play. Am I where I'm supposed to be? Hard to tell. What's your first impression? Violent glittering in the eyeballs. The smell of crystal prawn dumplings. There's a voice on the wind, a tenor singing about something beautiful There's but lost. There's a voice lost. on the wind, uh, a tenor, singing about something beautiful but lost. That's the place. Only stage on this rock is the Lumiere Volante. Jazz club. Gaudy. Ultra. You got a plan for that? Form like a sickly wig wearing virtuoso die on stage. 
I get riffs to Raz Jazz Clubs. Arrive late, leave early, steal glassware. I got riffs to raise jazz clubs. Electric. And good luck finding the place. What do you mean? It's not hidden, but I've never found it in the same place twice. Play there and they'll fly you straight back to the lung. Wait, don't you flake out again. Damn it. Damn it, woman. All right, so instead of a snowy world, this one's more like a desert world. There's water. It's not that deserty. <laughs> huh, so they actually fly off. Stage. You are now experiencing the all-powerful globoscopic wonder grill. No clue what that Whoa. means. Whoa, you're a vision. Are you experiencing the wonder grill? That's a bit too loud. I am totally experiencing it. Like a record playing in a dream room. It's a uh, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, Chikovi, Chikovi's in a need. It's like clinging to a re-entry ramjet. The appearance of a wonder grill is a complex affair. Where? With whom? What time? In what manner of lighting? The Wonder Grill asks these questions. For the answers can reveal truths about ourselves. I only want to reveal everything I'm not. Nothing's true about me. I'm kaleidoscope. Why is the lighting important? Why is the lighting important? That's gonna be it important is questions. Story. Each color a mood, each flare a character, every setting a landscape. What is your destination, little fish? You heard of the Lumiere Volante? For a while, it was in the sewing drawer of a school canteen. Then the aviary of a king. Last I heard, it was near the city of Beige. But nothing has drawn breath in Beige for 500 years. Place is tombed and cocooned. 
only way in is beneath. Through the caves. You have experienced the all-powerful Globoscopic Wonder Grill! Okay. The Wonder Krill is interesting. Heading for the cave. They seem quite friendly. I have no way of knowing what they're called, but I would have named them Pink Spotted Rock Stompers. Oh, here's a stage. Or a, uh... Oh yeah, that's a stage. Like we got a place so we can enter the caves. Wonder Krill was right. It was in the caves. Musique diabolique. Cool. jump here. No, I'm... The talent? Oh boy. There's... No one here. exclusive so we're just playing for the one
Unleash that just anywhere. Really? <laughs> I feel like I want to play every stage in the universe. Almost every stage. There's a yacht stuck in the vase. They're dancing with it. Feel me? Right. Like the setting informs the content. The song is rich, profound, even, but placed in the wrong vessel. Its meaning could be skewed out of shape. I understand. So. That's it? That's the whole show? Best of luck. Violetta said you'd give me a ride back to the Cosmic Lung. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh-oh. Used to have an arrangement with Beige. I ferried people back to the Lung, no questions. Get on a giant turtle. But they've stopped picking up the phone. A giant turtle? Well, what am I supposed to do? Best I can offer you is this. It went to the new city of Glimmer. Dress code strictly applied. No What's plus this? ones. I'll call you. How am I supposed to get back? here greed power repression rebellion usual stuff so what do i do now honestly no idea keep broadcasting i guess i've never had someone get stranded before you're kidding me this place used to have a warp turtle so where is it now my guess it left with everyone else Totally and utterly fantastic. Cheer up, kiddo. You got a lot of people tuning in. Your broadcast has been syndicated across the galaxy. Nice. What? When? Why? All good questions. It's a morbid answer. Ratings go up when someone gets stranded. Because, you know. It could all go wrong. Happy travels, kid. Okay. Yeah. So I got stranded, and now I gotta figure out my own way back. Let's see if I can't find that turtle. Rows and rows of people, all the same. What happened to this place? A city without a singular flourish. What is this? You got a problem with me taking this? Depends what's in it for me. You're not from around here, are you, love? 
Your suit's custom. No labels, no trademark, no specific signature. It's the first time you've worn that suit. That's right. Impressive. Your glasses. Herman and Funklum. Distributed in the central and eastern USA. So, you're some hotshot fresh out of Earth, huh? First tour? First tour. No fun. What's your destination? Well, I'm trying to get back to the Cosmic Womb. I've got to find a warp turtle. Not really- A warp turtle? The only warp turtle in these parts resides in the walled city of Glimmer. And where is that exactly? You want a lift? You got a ride? Darling, I've got the ride. Okay. Ride to Glimmer. That's pretty cool. I like how the bottom propeller is not even spinning. It goes on forever. It's the perfect place to stand out. They call me Frida. Hello, Frida. My ship is the Rubicola. The Rubicola. <laughs> I am the cheeky. Get yourself acquainted with the ship. I'll be in the lounge. Probably going to end up saying this a bunch, guys, but this game is fantastic. Really enjoying it. Calvaggio, this is the cheeky. Nice Don't to... speak to it. Oh, sorry. It is an ordeal, not for the unprepared. Now, Glimmerdin. Glimmerdin. You can't get in dressed like that, darling. What's wrong with this? They are devotees of style, fashion, form. At least they think they are. The guitar I heard in beige. That was you. You ain't heard me. You're a musician. And musicians see themselves as ocean terrors. A life of brooding solitude defined only by the brilliance of their fangs. <laughs> the opposite is true. Great artists surround themselves in a menagerie of wildlife. I think I understand. Take great care in your creative entourage. Rumors, images, fashion, lighting. Take care as if setting a precious stone in platinum. I've got a closet in my quarters near the front of the ship. Go see what you can find. Interesting. First I want to go look at this. This is the view from the porthole. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, unnecessary. Here's the wardrobe. The hell? Her wardrobe opens to here. Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened to my suit? Jeez. 
Unmentionables. All right. <laughs> I'm a uh, short sock. Well, actually, I'm somebody who would like long socks, but then rolls them down to be ankle socks anyways. Let's see. Ankle socks on. I think a color really works to them. How do I do the next thing? Hoggle. Okay, I've selected it. Now what? Okay. Ooh. Hey. Okay. That's kind of cool. Cinnamon scroll. Broom. Violetta. You'd have the same haircut as her. Or she'd really appreciate that. I'm liking this one, the mohawk short. It's kind of cool too, though. We could do this one and like in that. Jog pants, printed pants, long line shorts. <coughs> it's kind of nice. Tough pants, it is. I think it's a bit silly the order in which they have you do the uh, clothing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, been pretty good to me. <laughs> Ooh, face paints. What's this? The WWE playing a sting? That could work with the visors. Ooh, it's not bad.
That works. Alright, let's go. Ready for this exclusive club. Hero boots. We might have to go with boots. Eh, what color? I don't like that they've only... Wait, no, they do have other... That's not bad. Ooh. White jacket's pretty cool. Yeah. Badass. Ooh. Do a different guitar. Sky Hammer, or Brighter, Ace, Strat Cannon. There we go. Now he looked the part. Lactic musician. Have it. Oh. Let's do a jumpsuit. <laughs> That's so stupid. So it has the potential to change my whole outfit. Jump shoot suit. Or we can do the skeleton. Primary black, secondary white. I gotta do the light gloves. That'll work. Yes, I look dope. Alright, ready for my next show. Striking! A statement. What do you think, Calvaggio? A triumph of the human spirit! Sorry about that. You better be. That was traumatizing. Now, where did you get <sighs> this outfit? From the mall in your wardrobe. Incorrect. Where in all the wondrous cities and canals and black holes of the universe? Oh. It was a crystalline being off the shoulder of Rockleon by a wizard en route to the battle of Zen Zedzar Zar. By a creature who appears in the minds of those who drink Shasha tea. By yes. a creature who appears in the minds of those who drink Shasha tea. Wonderful, courageous Calvaggio. No, 
Don't ask Carl Farcio. <laughs> now, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a hologram hovering about the ship. Says he's a friend of yours. And I don't mean to be rude, but he's attracting Chromosquitos. Friend above. This way? No. Must be gonna go up the other way. Ah, Lightman. That you, Francis? My name is... Aren't you about to go on? Man, there's no easy way to say this. I can't. What? What? What happened? Oh, a lot of things happened. This is the latest and long sequence of happened things. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, son. Well, it is, actually. You've been promoted to the captain of the Cosmic Lung. Hey. I've been what? No, no, that's insane. The red right hand in charge of broadcast has sent word. More people watching your show than mine. Therefore, you're the captain. You, you have to say no. You have to tell them... I'm not ready. No, 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 no. No arguing with the ratings, kid. Half the galaxy's got their eyeballs on you. I'm the captain? I never made it this far into Glimmerdom. It's rather wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> not really. I guess things seem more wonderful when they're ending. Great, Whiteman. At least the mosquito should stop. Uh, where's my ride? Back up here. Trouble? Hard to tell. We're coming upon the city. Are you ready? Got everything you need from the club. As I'll ever be. What's your plan to get in, love? I've got a ticket. Really? Oh, I see. So there's no need for it. Daring guns blazing infiltration? I don't think so. Disappointing! Uh. They're gonna resist you at first, mock you, because they've never seen anything like you. The Glimmer Dimeridians think they've reached peak fashion. They're wrong. You wanna get their attention? Make yourself seen. Well, the cheeky. It was an affair. Carvaggio. Goodbye, friends. Need to calm Thanks down. For everything. And good luck. <laughs> that was interesting. Here we go. A step closer. Oi! What are you? Oh. 
I am the cheeky... And this is my ticket. Oh, it's a lovely ticket. Can't argue with that. Gorgeous ticket. Look at that gold. I am looking at it. It's the gold <laughs> specifically that has caught the attention of my artisan's eye. What color value would you say that was? Well, I would guess it's golden toothpaste 22. That was my evaluation too, sister. Golden toothpaste 22. Oh, dear. Ah, that's a lovely dear, gold. Dear. Golden toothpaste 22. You read about it, never think you'll see it. Official color guidelines state all official documents use golden toothpaste 23C. Uh oh. Terribly sorry. Please leave immediately. Your appearance is comical. Comic. Have it your way. I'm off. Stop that thing! It's color palette clashes. You think? Stop that creature! Good luck. This is a fashionista. Safe enemy of Clinical City. Stop! Jump too far there. Stop! Stop in the name of contest! I cannot allow such a rebellion. Such death. Such blatant disregard for the rules! <laughs> Just try and stop me, Mr. Fashionista. Terrible. Oh, what are these? Stage me. Oh, still no stage. Stop! 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 Psychopose! <laughs> 247 errors, violations of the fashion book. How do you bleed? Can't disappear at will. You'll never catch me. Guilty as all sin. I was wondering if I could borrow your turtle. I was wondering if I could borrow your turtle. Deportation slash execution squad inbound. Please remain children. Disinterested. 
Doesn't warning. sound great to me. Warning! Warning! Enemy ship detected! Enemy ship? Oh, it's her. Coming back. With the weapons. Remember her name? I wish I did. She's great. Um, where am I going now? Oh. Starting to convince them. Here we go. Our stage has arrived. Seriously, enough! What is wrong with you? I've got kids running all over the city, wearing endless non-regulation regalia. It should take weeks to clean up. I am the cheeky! I am the fashionista, chef editor of Glimmer. What do you want? Well, if it isn't too much trouble, I'll need to borrow your turtle. Tim, you're trying to get to the cosmic extraordinary. A furniture. No! No. Rude. Impossible. 
Possibly. Well, if you'll excuse me, I hear the pitter patter of revolution a few rooftops over. No. No. Wait. Wait. This is my one final and singular offer. What is that? You may take the turtle dim, but once clear of my city limits, I will pursue you. I will destroy you on a mount of my choosing. Do you accept? Cue the chase music. Back the walk, turtle! <laughs> Wake dim! Hard to find, my friend. I've been waiting for you, Francis. What did you say? Been waiting for me. Roar. Works for me. Let's hit it. All right. As a speedy turtle. Fashionista. Is he flying on? What the? Well, that's no fair. The hell is that thing? Oh, it's a uh, glimmer thingy, right? Thing to do. Yeah, that's not happening. Let's go. round goes to me. Alright, back to the warp turtle. On to the next platform. Round two. Show now. No, oh, no, we got away. No, we didn't. Not yet. Don't let him get away.
do this to me. My image will never recover. Goodbye, fashionista. Made it back. Alright guys, this is where we got to leave off for this one. I'm liking how each piece is just about an hour, uh, each trip out from the Cosmic Lung and coming back. It's actually working really well for uh, the series. But yeah, we will continue this next time, and hope to see you there. Have a good one.